So what is the Enneagram? If you have even an ounce of curiosity and just a few minutes, stick with me. The Enneagram is a systems approach to describing and working with our ego patterns. It identifies our behavioral or our ego instincts, our gifts, our roadblocks. It illuminates the notion that the way we do anything is the way we do everything. Now sure, the more lived experience we have, we find new and different ways of navigating situations, people. But fundamentally, when the rug gets pulled out from under us and we do that very human thing, where we clutch for stability or clutch for security, we tend to revert back to those norms that we established as a pattern at a very young age. That is your Enneagram type. One of nine beautifully complex, egoic systems of being. Now, maybe you already know your type. Maybe you worked with a coach to identify your type. Yes, that's a service I provide. Maybe you took a test, a class, or just did some reading and research on your own to identify your type. That first step can feel really great. I feel seen. I feel heard. I feel understood. I feel validated. Maybe I have a little more compassion now for myself or others around me because I understand more of our type. These are all very good things and very good reasons to discover your type if you don't already know it. But here is where the Enneagram differs from most other personality disorders that you may be familiar with. Myers-Briggs, Strengths Finders, DISC, etc. Perhaps most importantly, the Enneagram offers us the opportunity and a key to unlock our untapped potential. The Enneagram invites us to remember the full, complete, balanced self that we knew long before we knew we were making choices that ultimately became our ego. The truth is that full, balanced, complete self is still there it always was. It just gets momentarily eclipsed when we overplay the hand of our gifts and tendencies, those things with which we're most comfortable. It's complicated. These patterns make us feel good in the moment. They feel safe. They feel secure. But all too often, they're actually blocking us from generating the results in our lives that we need, that we want, that we deserve. So how do we do that work? We start by getting comfortable with the notion that we have a mind, but that we are not our mind. By noticing, naming, and being very gentle with the patterns in our lives, especially where they are not serving us. We find pathways to experience a more complete worldview and belief system, rediscovering or remembering that full self that is our birthright. And then we practice trusting in that self again with gentleness, especially in the places in our life where we are looking for different results than what we have been able to generate so far. Yes, this is a lot. It's not quick and easy. It's not sexy clickbait. It's hard work. It requires honesty, commitment, patience, and gentleness. But if you're still with me, chances are you're at least a little bit intrigued, and that's a great place to start. Maybe you want to discover or confirm your type. Maybe you want to use the Enneagram to take the next step and enrich your life. Wherever you are, that is where you start. You can schedule a free of charge, no obligation discovery call right on my website, www.forwardbound.com. That's F-O-U-R-W-A-R-D bound.com. This is just a chance for us to talk together in a bit more detail and decide what next steps make the most sense for you. Either way, I hope this has been helpful and I hope to hear from you soon. Until then, be well.